so I'm, I'm hovering around five to six thousand calories at the moment and I'm probably burning three to four off in training because I'm doing so much fitness work. My interest in sport basically started when I was 12 years old. I started playing um, cricket and I was very good at athletics as well. And I, I found that that was one area that I was really able to excel at. I stopped playing cricket when I was 20 and I got an injury which stopped me in my career and then basically turned into weights to try and do rehab and fell in love with weight training. And then uh, I think what it was because I'd always done so much fitness work and I was used to eating massive amounts of, of uh, calories. When I stopped doing all the fitness training and then incorporated weight training instead, I just went oh. One more. I had, a, I had a real issue with food. On a, it, was, it was really strange. I had a breakdown uh, mentally when I got my injury from cricket. I just hit such a bad, dark place. And, I, and my, my sort of reaction to it was just to stop eating. And then I just, for about three or four months, I just didn't touch food, just couldn't eat. I was, eating, I was diagnosed anorexic, uh, I'd see a counselor, nearly got admitted to hospital. Body fat was fucking hell, about two percent. And that's the transformation pictures that go around. And I'm going, whoa, from that to that. And the real story was that I had such a dark place in time I was at, uh, and the depression, and, and, and I couldn't eat, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep, it was just, it was a horrible time. Uh, and that's where it all came from. I remember going to the doctors with my mom, and then on the way to the doctors, I collapsed. And it was outside a charity shop, actually, and just collapsed on the floor, because I hadn't been eating, my sugar levels and my body fat was so low, and I, I, was, I was in a seriously bad way. And I was sat at the doctor's and uh, I, something just clicked in my head and I was like, this isn't me, man. I just, I just, I just need to snap out of it. See, big men don't punch all this. Big muscle men don't you know, punch all this. Yeah. That click and that restart that you know so, so engaged in my brain and I just thought right I can't be here anymore um, so I I set myself small goals at first and ironically the first goal was to eat If I come in here and lie to him and say, oh yeah, you look great, you're doing everything perfect and don't adjust him, that, that, he's not going to be ready, you know what I mean? So to me, I have to get everything right, you know, for my conscience as well. If he's going to go out there and fight people, I want to know that he's ready, you know, that I've done everything he physically can, you know, built it from the, the ground up. Punch, yes, yeah. right hand, pow, inside the leg. Do you want to jump like a little uh, fairy as well? Yeah? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Just to get your work in, stop it! Man, oh. <laughs> This is the start of his journey, you know? It, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh yeah, you know, he's like, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here, he's so good, right, and all that, but he's, it's just the fundamentals that he hasn't, he just hasn't got in place. So at the minute, I'm just trying to get them the, the fundamentals there, that, um, you know, like, things like, simple things like keep, keeping his backhand down, or, you know, the way he stands, the way he comes forward. 
which at the moment it, it is a bit bodybuilder like but I'm very I'm really surprised genuinely how loose he is and how quick that the guy learns you know yeah, he's got that much phenomenal power but no he's I've got good hopes for him he's uh he's a he's gonna be a monster you know if I can if I can come from nowhere and, and I can do this in the acting world and then I can come from nowhere and I can get into a cage and if I can come from nowhere and I can own a company these are exactly the sort of inspirational stories I want to try and give to people. I'm not saying that this is going to be an easy journey by any stretch of the imagination. But what I am saying is that with the right coaching, the right planning and the right application, it will be very interesting to see how far I can push myself and how far I can go. It's, it's just that ability to never give in and never stop, which is why the fighting excites me because that's the best place you can show your courage and your, your hunger and your appetite to succeed. So I'll probably die trying not to get tapped out. <laughs>